Action 9 investigates danger hidden inside items we use every day. It's like before you buy something, you're going to have to think, hmm, I could possibly lose everything. People not only have their homes burned down, they can die. You may see the warnings for lithium ion batteries, but researchers found most people ignore the risks. Action 9 attorney Jason Sujenki says you might not realize you have the batteries until it's too late. Lithium ion batteries are everywhere. Laptops, flashlights, yard equipment. They're rechargeable and reliable, but I still want you safe. Who was that? First, a boom. You're the fire! The best part is the fire! Okay. Then, seconds later, a scramble. Get out of the house, come on. As smoke and fire quickly consumed this home. I screamed and I just threw the fire extinguisher and ran because I knew it was bigger than what I could handle. Jody Burgoyne says firefighters told her it started with a lithium ion battery charger for a scooter. It's like before you buy something, you're going to have to think, hmm, I could possibly lose everything, including a child, but is it worth having this scooter for? I don't think so. So it's coming in the garage and I open the garage door and I start intense, and I mean intense, black gnarly smoke in the garage. They're Jeff like, Freeman lives in South wall. Charlotte. He says he consistently charged this lithium ion battery for his hedge trimmer around the clock. According to investigators, it shorted out and melted. This is a real serious problem. People not only have their homes burned down, they can die. He says right, the device's manual came with a out. warning about leaving the battery on the charger, but he'd like more prominent ones. So there really, in my opinion, should be some sort of legislation through Raleigh or federal standards saying a big warning sign on these lithium batteries do not charge overnight. It's definitely not uncommon, them being so um, in everything. So Matthew Honecker on the right is Charlotte Fire's hazmat coordinator. He says charge the batteries until they're fully charged, then take them off the charger and only use the charger that came with that device and battery. Don't use a... Uh, different manufacturers charger. You may be thinking, don't they have safety features so they stop charging on their own? Technology is as good as long as it works. In other words, still play it safe. If nothing else, I hope through this interview, as you said, getting the message out that people know they just, when they get these chargers, they have to unplug them so as they're charged, they can't leave it in 24 seven. As for Jody Burgoyne, <laughs> firefighters were able to pull out baby photos of her children, but the family lost a lot in the fire including a pet. Then you always think, you know, well, that's not going to happen to me. You know, what are the chances? But it can. Jason Stujanki, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.